you know, when they do really need to talk to somebody and they're at a crucial point, rather than going to their peers, they will come to me and talk to me about it. So, I mean, on a daily basis, and we live in India, which is very, very funny. So, for example, my son plays a few sports, and uh, I got a letter, you know, a couple of uh, months ago from the building society that, uh, Madam, please check, your son is banging his balls against my car. <laughs> so, you know, I'll tell him things like this, which, uh, and we laugh about it, you know, we'll, we'll make fun of... Uh, gender or, or, or anatomy and nothing is sort of wrapped up in cotton and thermocol and is sacred. Everything is open and I think that's how we should raise our kids, even when it comes to alcohol. Rather you have your son come or your daughter come to you and you know have, have a glass of wine with you rather than, telling, uh, than stopping them because they're going to drink anyway with their friends and this way at least they feel it's an open door and an open uh, area where they can talk to you about it. So you keep it open so that there are no difficult conversations to be had, right? Uh, I tell my kids that all the time. Sometimes I'm traveling in, uh, I was traveling, uh, you know, in the plane and my daughter has this habit of taking that dirty in-flight magazine and chewing it. And while I'm thinking of how many germs are going in and how many people have touched this after going to the bathroom and not washing their hands, I tell myself, I just console myself, it's building her immunity. Dirt is healthy and dirt is good for her. On that note, <laughs> that's beautiful. Thank you. On that note, we're going to say, Dar, Vake Achhe, or Har ko Zarur Harao. And before we wrap, I'm going to request our guests to move towards um, that area because we're going to take a pledge.